It's always nice to think about your next holiday. It's good to have something to look forward to. And most people know where they will go for their next holiday. Uh, Spain. On my next holiday, I'm going to stay in New York. To Paris. Probably Dubai. I'm going to stay in a few different places, but one of the places I'm most excited about is uh, we're going to stay in an eco-lodge in the jungle in Cambodia. Los Angeles, California. So the next place on our list is Scotland. Uh, the Bahamas. There are so many amazing places to visit around the world. It would be great to see them all. But most of us haven't got the time or the money to visit other countries and explore new places. But what if your life were different? If you were rich, would you travel the world? If you didn't have to go to work every day, where would you go next? Is there a city you've always wanted to visit? There's so much to see and do in San Francisco in the USA. There's the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge, the famous hills, and the historic island prison of Alcatraz. And if you go down to Pier 39, you'll see the bridge and the prison, and you might see some of San Francisco's famous sea lions. Or you might prefer to visit Shanghai in China. It's a huge city with a fascinating history. It's changing all the time, so you'll always see something new and exciting. The Pudong skyline looks even better by night. Or what about New Delhi, the capital city of India? If you visit Delhi, you'll see amazing buildings like the Lotus Temple and the Akshardham Temple. If you like cricket, it's a great place to see some of the players of the future. If you drive in Delhi, you'll need to be very careful on the roads. but you'll experience one of the most exciting and interesting cities in the world. If you could travel around the world, which cultural festivals would you like to see? You can experience Chinese New Year celebrations or St. Patrick's Day parades in many different countries. If you visit the United States in early July, you'll enjoy the Independence Day celebrations. The Stars and Stripes flags will be flying and people will be wearing red, white, and blue. In cities like Boston, you'll see parades of people dressed in historic costumes and celebrating the birth of the United States. If you go to Rio de Janeiro in Brazil in February, you'll see the amazing carnival. And with over 500,000 people celebrating, you might get the chance to join in. And there's the Notting Hill Carnival in London every August. It's a celebration of Caribbean culture in the United Kingdom. With music, dancing and food. 
And if you are very lucky, it won't rain. And if you visit the historic city of Venice in Italy, you might experience the Carnival of Venice. Venice is one of the most amazing cities in the world, with beautiful bridges, homes and piazzas, and kilometers of canals you can explore on a gondola. There has been a springtime festival in Venice since the 11th century. At this time, the carnival lasted about two months. Today, the modern carnival lasts for two weeks and takes place in February or March every year. It's a colorful celebration. There are parties and processions with everybody wearing beautiful costumes. You'll see many people wearing masks. Masks are an important part of the traditional celebrations. At huge masked balls, people dance to classical music. The parties continue in the streets through the night. If you come to the carnival, it will be an experience you'll never forget. If you were more courageous, would you try a more adventurous kind of holiday? How about trying surfing? Or kite surfing? For some people, sightseeing or going to cultural festivals isn't exciting enough. They don't want to relax in their time off. They want an action-packed holiday. And there's one place that is the perfect destination for people looking for adventure. Queenstown in New Zealand. Queenstown is a small town on New Zealand's South Island, next to Lake Wakatipu. Tourists come here looking for fun and adventure. In the past, people came to see the beautiful scenery. They went hiking in the summer and skiing in the winter. This beautiful boat, the TSS Ernslaw, has traveled across Lake Wakatipu for over a hundred years. And it still carries passengers every day. But today, there are a lot more cool things to try in Queenstown. If you like speed, you'll enjoy the Shotover Jet. This was one of the first adventure sports attractions in Queenstown. Over two million people have enjoyed the high-speed trip down the Shotover River since 1970. If you're feeling really brave, and you want a great view of Lake Wakatipu, you should try skydiving. If it's your first time, you won't jump alone. But even if you jump with an instructor, it will be one of the most amazing experiences of your life. But if you come to Queenstown and you're into action, there's one activity you have to try, a bungee jump. This is the Kawara Bridge near Queenstown. The bridge over the Kawara River is 43 meters high. People come here from all over the world because this was the world's first bungee jump.
Bungee jumping looks dangerous, but really, it's very safe. Over 300,000 people have jumped here since 1988. Of course, many more people haven't jumped because they are too scared. But they've watched their friends and family jump. If you had the chance, would you jump? Are you brave enough? <laughs>